Okay, let's take an overview of what we've got in store for this week, the topics for this week, the assignment, and so forth. And then we'll talk about the one more extra credit assignment, and then uh, do the lecture, and then the work time. Now, I, I guess we're going to have to survive without Alex and Angie. For some reason, they're not here. Um, but I think we'll be okay without them. So if you need help, of course, I'll be here. Um, if they show up, we'll see. But here is the what the goals are for this week. So if you check week nine, now a lot of the homework also that was not graded very recently has been graded. Uh, so you wanna go back and check your grades on that. And if I left you comments and such, check out what those comments were. And remember the cool thing about Canvas is that everything's in a rubric. So I, I basically, I click on things. Um, I click on things so that it tells you exactly you did this or you didn't do this or you did that and you get points. So all of the grading is, is there. So here's what's in store for this week in the welcome. The main idea is we're going to talk about plugins and widgets. And we're going to return to WordPress to work on WordPress to do stuff with WordPress. The banners you made last week, you might want to think about incorporating them into your site moving forward. Um, and we're going to get back into WordPress. Now, when I talk about your site, Remember, ultimately, we are ending up with, with a website at the end of the semester, a WordPress website or two, and we're going to get back into working with WordPress. Now, if you set up WordPress at home, you have a WordPress site at home that you can continue to work with. Great. In the lecture at the moment, we're going to create a, a, a WordPress site from scratch because we have to because the computers erase everything, right? But I'll also talk about how do I take this website that I work on here, how do I take it home? That's going to require a plugin, so we'll have a lecture on that. Vice versa, what if you're working on your site at home and you want to bring it into class here to work on it? What we're going to talk about will work both ways to take your work back and forth. And that's going to be the concept of plugins. So we're going to cover plugins. We'll look at what widgets are, which are related. And then the main assignment will be that you're going to pick a plugin that might be a nice plugin for your website. So we have to learn what a plugin is how to install it, how to use it, and then you're going to have assignment on that. The resources are a couple of readings that you can go off if you'd like to go see the in-depth articles on what a plugin is, what a widget is. We'll cover a version of this stuff in the lecture in a moment, but the readings will also reiterate that. The discussion, which will be the assignment, the required assignment for this week, um, check the deadlines. These are a little different. Remember, there's some deadlines that are at the middle of the week, and some are on Saturday and Sunday and Friday and so forth. Always check the deadlines for full credit. This one is, because it's related to the discussion board, this one is you're going to have your first posting to it due by Wednesday, and then your responses by Friday. So it'll be another discussion, collaborative sort of assignment in the public discussion. So basically, you're going to pick a plugin. All the details are here. Pick a plugin, install it. I need to see screenshots that you actually did that. You then need to explain to me and to the rest of the class what is your website going to be about. Now, that's going to be very similar to what you did in Padlet, where you drew the, um, the um, boxes pointing to different sections, and you had a little paragraph. You can start with that, definitely, and add a little bit. Um, to what you wrote on Padlet, but here in, in this discussion, you're going to, again, tell the class what my website's about, um, what plugin you chose for your website, explain it, and then a screenshot of the plugin. All of that's going to be added here to the, to the discussion. So, actually, wait a minute. Discussion. Hmm, did I miss... Miss set this up. Um, can can you can you all confirm for a moment if you click on that? That's not actually a discussion, is it? There's no button to reply, or am I missing something? Hmm. I might have activated the wrong type of assignment. Um, this is supposed to be a discussion, but it looks like it's a regular assignment without a discussion. Whoops. Okay. Well. I guess, um, hmm. okay, we'll set it that the deadline is still Friday, the final deadline's Friday. You're not going to need to do the responses part 
but just can you confirm? Is anyone looking at this right now? There's no way for you to reply to classmates, right? There's no way to upload, There's no way to upload it too? Hmm. Okay, well, I'll definitely fix that. Mm -hmm. So let me just fix one thing here. Here we go. No submission online. Yeah. So the only thing that it that it had. Okay. So I I didn't set it up. Sorry about that. I didn't set it up as a discussion. We'll leave it as a regular assignment. So you won't have to reply to your classmates. But there should be a submit button now. Can you check that if it says submit? So I heard a yes. A couple of yeses. Okay. Good. So okay. Well. Um, I guess I shouldn't do this at 2 in the morning, you know, then you miss a few things. So here's the thing. Okay, so I'm going to change it in a moment, but this is going to be due Friday. You won't need to respond to classmates, but you will need to click Submit, and you're going to submit a screenshot of, of your plugin in action. You're going to write... A short paragraph when you submit it, you have, a sp uh, you have a space to write, right? So you're going to write a short paragraph about what your site is about uh, and a short paragraph about what your plugin, how your plugin, what your plugin is, how it will help your site. So you'll definitely do that. I'm going to remove this one in a moment. You're not going to need to do the reply to classmates because I didn't set it up and it takes too long to set it up right now as a reply thing. So that's what the assignment will be. You're just going to submit it to me, not to the classmate sort of replies thing. The grading, I'll fix up the grading as well about the reply stuff doesn't count anymore, so I'll, I'll take that out. And then on the rubric as well, you, the final one here, you won't need to re reply to classmates. The assignment is not set up for that. Um, so the um, that's the assignment. So I'm going to rewrite it in just a moment, but does that make sense? You just have to submit it to me not reply to each other. There'll be a spot for you to write, a spot for you to attach a screenshot. Does that make sense? Any questions? Of course, if it doesn't, we'll be here for the lab time and so forth, but that's what the assignment will be using plugins. So we'll do our lecture about what plugins are in just a moment. And then by the wrap-up, um, just reiterates, here's what we covered. Next week, we're going to look at a company profile for our website. So we're learning how we're learning the nuts and bolts of how to use the software to make a website. Yes, but we also have to learn some theory on on what on how to make a website. Because learning WordPress, if you just read the textbook, you'll become a WordPress pro. But there's more than that that we go on throughout the class because we've covered, for example, the coding of things. That's not in the book. We've covered designing the banner. That's not in the book. Next week and in a few weeks, we're going to cover some more theory, theoretical stuff about company profiles and other things that's not in the book. So it's not just learn WordPress, game over, or we're done, but it's about these other things related to web design as well. That'll be next week. This week, specifically for WordPress, we'll talk about plugins and widgets and then an assignment on that. The extra credit assignment, I'll put that into Canvas in just a moment. But here's the extra credit assignment. The latest issue of the Sun newspaper has been published. The college's award-winning, multi-year award-winning newspaper is out today. It's online, but it's also out in paper. Um, there's kiosks all over the campus that have it. There's one on the corner of our, of our building right out there. And I brought a stack of them as well. Your extra credit assignment will be to read an article here and summarize it print it out and turn it in. No deadline, but you might as well do it as soon as you can. So I'll write down right here, extra credit, assignment, read at least one article in the latest issue of The Sun newspaper and write a short paragraph paragraph summary of what the article is about. Print it out, turn it in. No deadline. Two points. 
her printout. So I, oops, so I set up here that um, find an article, summarize it, turn it in two points. That's 20% of an assignment. Um, maximum. six points. So you can do more than one article if you want, more than one summary, print, print out the summaries, turn them in. If they, um, if they are at least a paragraph and such, not just one sentence reply, I like the article. No, you have to <clears throat> write it in more detail. And um, that'll be two points, up to two points per article. You can read up to three articles, print those out, turn them in, you can get up to six points. So that can uh, really also help if you've missed points on previous assignments and such. But that'll be the extra credit. I'll put that on Canvas in a moment. Does that make sense? Read an article, summarize it, turn it in, extra credit. OK, I'll put this on Canvas in just a moment. Let's do our main lecture. And then we'll have our work time to work.